Okay, so we've just been called out to a back boiler. It's not lighting. The new gas service is in, so either the spark is not working. Or it just needs a little bit of a purge. So we'll see. I remember when I used to do this. Do all the reruns. Repositioning gas meters. Thirty. I am. Let's have a look. Let me just put my cover shoes on, mate. So what's happening then? That's cool, Pete. Oh, oh, you sink it down outside. Yeah, yeah. The gas pipe, don't worry. Yeah. Turn the gas off. We got gas back in use. Gas rings are working. Gas foil working. All of that, right? Okay. Pressing the brake. Following all the instructions, even the bloke from Kedem, we were down here half hour yesterday. Yeah. Pressing the brake. You can hear the gas going through. Yeah. Pressing the sparking thing. No spark. Okay. And it's working fine before the digging. Yeah, yeah, they all <laughs> say that, mate. They all say yeah. that. Okay, really needs a service if I'm honest with you. Let's see if we can light it. Yeah, we, we, we used to get one of the plumber, he used to own there, but he wouldn't come out to Calvin two years ago. Yeah. And uh, it just been extended. I mean, I'm at the home serve now. Oh, yeah. But I can't get, I joined it last month. I can't get one to come out to do a service until April. <laughs> okay. They wouldn't even come out to this, this still Wednesday. Why? They haven't, got it, they haven't got one an engineer. That was the earliest could get one. Okay. There's a, there's a yellow torch there for you if you want. Down there if you want to stay in good to you. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Definitely needs stripping and cleaning. So regardless of it, you can see that's bad to be honest with you. So as a minimum, even if we get this lit, which is highly unlikely looking at it, it's like going to be a strip down. Mm -hmm. If I strip it down, it's going to get a service, but it's going to take me a few hours to tell you that straight. Um, it's just caked. You'll probably find the pilot's gas is coming through, but your pilot's probably small, so that's why it won't catch the spark. Right, before I even start this, there's strong possibilities I'm going to find stuff wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Just because I know the, the things inside out. So, for example, the burner, when I take that out in a minute, the burner below there, they're renowned for cracking straight across. If it is, it's going to get at wrist. Yeah. It's not going to pass, and then your fire's going to fail. All right, so just forewarning you. All right. I don't want anything to be there, but that's a common fault. That, that, I had the fire last night, the fire was working. Yeah. Regardless of it working, it can still be a crack in there. I'll show you in a minute. They always do it all in the same place. All right. So I'm just making you aware. Especially the younger engines. Probably won't have come across these before. That's the only thing I was worried about. Someone else had the woman on the phone when I spoke. I know, hang on a sec. I walked in and you thought, he looks young. Now, you, what do you want about? No, no, you thought he looks young, you're hanging on nothing about no, this bat boiler. No, oh, you, you, can, you get a boy, don't you? You're trying to say I look old? Well, sounds good. <laughs> 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 we are hanging on big pipe rounds. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, when I found a woman yesterday when I, I booked an appointment and I was telling him it was a, a, a back seat in the early world, yeah. what's one of them? Yeah. And I said, the boiler's behind the fire. I said, it is old. She's like, oh, right. Yeah. I don't mind them. Like I said, it's just age related things you come across. I mean, years ago, I haven't seen one for years, but we used to have servo warms, and it was a boiler behind a radiator. Right, yeah. And the radiator used to swing out off the wall, mm -hmm. and there was a boiler behind it. Straight up. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one for donkeys, to be honest with you. I probably worked on about four or five of them years ago. Um, if I seen one now, I'd probably have to scratch my head a little bit, yeah. but they're basic, basic things. It's just a, just a boiler. It's like having a back boiler up behind your radiator. Yeah. They're gonna have basic controls on their stats, yeah. on off switches, basic, basic stuff. Yeah. 
little tip and you take this glass out it doesn't want to come out of there mark the back of it so you know which is top and which is bottom you know if you put that glass in the wrong way yeah it'll fracture it'll, it'll, let me just mark the top of it first so we know that's the back and that's yeah. the top if yeah. that makes sense i'm just going to scratch it with a screwdriver Looks okay-ish. You don't use it very often, do you, the fire? Last night was lit it the first time I'd have said in the year, since last winter. That's probably a good thing then. Because they generally get a hairline crack through there, so through that one there. Once the central heat is <laughs> yeah, I was lucky last night, didn't go out of my roof on that shed when I wake up. It's all right, it's got a rubber roof and I just ain't trimming the sides. Yeah, yeah. It's just sorted out, man. Can it, man? Yeah, go on and Where are you from? Uh, Virtual's Warsaw. Somebody's got to live there, are they? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, from uh, Norton Keynes originally. Oh, well. Probably, probably a bit more from where really live. Just down there. It's right around here. It is. It's especially it's right here. It's cool to say. I used to do it years ago, man. You'd been there and I'd wait if people to come back from work so you can turn the gas on. Mm. And they'll turn up at the same time when I start arguing with you. Well, the gas on, look, well, you've been out. And you've all turned up at the same time, so I can't do 15 or 16. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we should take all this Valentine's stuff down. You're making me feel bad because I don't do nothing for my missus. <laughs> Oh. 
How is that line not even in? Look at the angle that liner comes at. I can see that. It's like 45 degrees into it. I can see that, yeah. Well, as long as it seals, it seals. It's yeah. a bit. It's like the, it don't line up. That that back boiler when they fitted it, they should have moved it over. Like, yeah. What they've done like, is they've central. Yeah. yeah, they've centralised it on a. The middle of the flue is he's out. Yeah, but theoretically, this is classed as an open flue boiler. An open flue boiler, the flue should rise 600 mil vertical, not 45 or anything. Yeah before it starts diverting off in an angle. Whereas this just diverts off in an angle straight off the top of the boiler. Thermostat far grommets missing from there. So this is gonna get, it's gonna end up with an at-risk notice on it anyway. It's just, it's old, that should have a rubber grommet there. I'll have a look to see if I've got one. Yeah. Might or might not. I did have some, I'll have a look. Um, all right. Well, yeah, that would be the last one, would it? No. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you that. Just that wouldn't be like a little bit. Eh? It wouldn't. If it, the sense, it can get through here, and then it really can work. Then it goes in, or it wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, I mean, what we used to do years ago, to get round something like this, but, but it's like dirty anyway, it's whether it works, is you'd put yeah. a match on a piece of solder, and you'd feed it round there and you'd try and catch a point light, but you're kind of defeating the object, like you said, it's going to go back off again. If they're going to turn back off again tomorrow. Yeah. They haven't said they are, but if they have used to the path, they've got it in there, right? yeah. they won't take it back up. See, there's not really a lot to go wrong on this. Mm. It's just like an on-off thermostat. Yeah. So it gets the temperature and it shuts off. It does, yeah, yeah. So if you've got a circulation issue, it'll just stay off long enough mm. for it to dissipate the heat yeah. and disperse the heat around the system. Whereas a new boiler, so you stick a combination boiler in here yeah. and it's got sludge in the system, then the temperature sensors, the thermistors, so you've got a temperature sensor, like on your, your pipes and that. Yeah, yeah. It'll do an equation and work out that actually the temperature rises all wrong. It shouldn't be heating up this way and mm. the return's not getting hot enough, but the flow's getting too hot. And it'll start shutting down and bringing up fault codes. Yeah. So look at the waterways inside here. You've got big waterways. Yeah. The waterways inside the new boilers, what, some place it's 10 mil. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if you're changing from a conventional system like this with a cast heat exchanger, you really want to be whichever heat installer is doing it for you. I don't say, I'll, I haven't even got clouds here or anything. I think you'll need one for them to give me a good price or anything. But the, um, whoever you get, the conversation you should be having with them with this today's energy cost is how low can I get the yeah. water temperature coming out of the boiler and keep my property warm? Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you've got sludge in there, 
every one mil of sludge inside your radiator or inside your heat exchanger equates for 7% energy loss. Yeah. So this is why all this crap on your heat exchanger now yeah. acts kind of like a passive layer. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna use more gas, more energy to penetrate, penetrate through that layer. Yeah. On the outside, you've got crap, and then on the inside, you're gonna have scale of sludge to get the same heat transfer into the water. So this is this is why I like stripping down boilers and stuff like that. Because the British standard and even the manufacturing instructions say um, that you can just stick your analyzer in, not on one of these, because this is old, mm -hmm. but you can just stick your analyzer in on say a combi boiler or something like that. You can take the readings and that satisfies an inspection of service as such, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, that's okay, I get that. However, mm -hmm. You, you, your efficiency is still going down because you're gonna have crap inside yeah, like this. Yeah. So yeah, it's not about doing the job properly, I just think it's inefficient. Yeah, you're doing half a job. yeah it's inefficient yeah. to do you, that. If you've got that stage, you might have got it properly. Yeah. It's like buying a brand new BMW and not taking it for a service and yeah. getting a new, you know, fitting a new boiler on an old system that hasn't been flushed if it's proven to have poor water quality to start with yeah. is like getting a brand new BMW and taking the oil out your old Escort yeah, yeah, and putting it in there and yeah, expecting it to run. Yeah, it just, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the idea is if you're putting something in, you want it to be as efficient as you can make it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, there might be a few cost implications at the start, but the return, but the return yes. as in, not as in it's going to pay you back, but as in going forward yeah. where energy costs should be less. You know what I mean? Yeah. You need to be looking, really, if, if you've got a cold property or you're looking at making it more efficient, first thing you want to look at is insulation. Mm. Because if you get your insulation on point, then your energy requirements will be less. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. where part of the saving comes yeah, in as well. Because the property next door to us, they're cancelled. Yep. These are the toys. And they cancelled in all this. But they kept the same ones in. Somebody's getting around doing the yeah. same thing over and over again, and yeah. you turn up and like you say, you, you're trying to justify your price to them, and they're like, nah. Yeah. But you can see it yourself sometimes what you get for your money. Yeah. thermal couple there uh -huh. yeah. okay so how that works is point light puts heat onto the the thermostat uh, thermal couple foil there yeah that generates a small thermal electric mag magnetic current uh -huh. onto the back of there which allows you to Do that release it yeah. okay yeah i don't know if i've got one on the van i might have one however it is good practice to replace these when you service them Especially if it hasn't been serviced for a long time, because what happens is 
as I said before, you get like a carbon build up on the outside of it. Yeah. When you remove that, your frame becomes a bit stronger. Yeah. Sometimes burns a hole through it within a few weeks. Oh, right. Yeah. And then it'll be a call out for my boiler's not working. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's entirely up to you. You don't have to. It's probably going to work, but. If you've got one, do it. Yeah. Why right. you, why you there? Light. Yeah, because what happens is that lost its heat then, so it lost its magnetic charge. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, when the, no, 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 that's what it is. That, yeah. Whack us your heating on a sec, mate. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Down this side? Yeah, oh, okay. You know? Yep. Okay, you can leave it on. I can turn it on off from here now. Yeah. 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 Might just have been having a moment. Yeah, never done it before. Might be the start of yeah. your solenoid on its way out. Okay, so we've got the fire burner out. Injectors are kind of pressed into these, you can't really get them out, so sort of clean as much as you can, force as much air through. Get three screws hold it in, one there, one there, which bolts your electrode off, and two 17 mil nuts on the injector, uh, injector bolts, and those are 15 mils that you need to hold against. gas pressure okay just turn the burner pressure so it's important to remember as well when you're testing this appliance or I'm testing this now 
I'm testing it on today, today's weather conditions. You know, you can see there's been a heat mark of some sort coming out of there. Yeah. So at some point, something has come out of there. So that's why it's important to try and get everything right with it. You don't know what's happening when you're not there. Exactly. When you've been covered your arse and you've been shooting everything, all the yeah. tests are right. You know what I mean? Then you've got nothing to worry about. one injector for one side. saying that's a crap flying picture that is actually the design of this that's how it's supposed to look 